Hi, my name is Heather the Heat Hardy, and you're watching Blue Blood Sports TV. This is Amanda the Real Deal Serrano, and you're watching Blue Blood Sports TV. Hi, I'm Courtney, and I'm Janita, and you're watching Blue Blood Sports TV. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Blue Blood Sports TV, back at y'all with another one. So, British superstar boxers, former uh, retired legendary British boxer, super middleweight, middleweight world champion called the Cobra Frotch, and currently two time unified British heavyweight world champion superstar boxer Anthony Joshua have been going having a heated debate. Well, more so Carl Frotch with the fans and Anthony Joshua has privately text Carl Frotch, but he must not have been saying anything too nice because he continues to delete the messages before Carl Frotch can respond to him. Uh, what happened is there is, they came out of a list of British ten, top 10 British uh, fighters of all time and Carl Frotch was not on the list and Anthony Joshua made the list at number 10. Carl Frotch was not happy about this list and about Anthony Joshua being on the list and him not being on the list, seeing as though he won and held all four major sanctioned body titles, the WBC, IBF, the WBO, and the WBA at one point in time in his career. He's a multi-division world champion. He has a better resume. No doubt, Carl Frotch has a better resume than Anthony Joshua. But like Carl Frotch stated, his career is over and Anthony Joshua's career is still active. He beat George Groves. He beat Mikel Kessler. He beat Lucien Boutte. He had a fight with Andre Ward in which he lost unanimous decision loss, but he fought him. He beat uh, um, Glenn Johnson for the WBC super middleweight title. He beat Arthur Abraham. He beat Mikel Kessler. He beat Andre Durrell. He beat Jermaine Taylor. He beat Gene Pascal. You know, so Carl Frotch has a, a um, a legendary resume, right? He in the Super Six tournament. He made the finals. That was against Andre Ward, in which he lost to Andre Ward, right? So he he would have won the Super Six title if it wasn't not undefeated, a uh, uh, former pound for pound legend who's retired in his own right, Andre S O G Ward. That was the only blemish at the at the moment on Carl Frotch's resume. Uh, then Carl Frotch he lost to um, Miguel Kessler unanimous decision. But he later avenged that loss and got the unanimous decision victory over Mikael Kessler. So he split one and one with Mikael, Kess Mikael Kessler. And if you don't know how good these fighters are, you know, I know some uh, people, current people today, you know, young fellas today don't know who Mikael Kessler is, how good he was. Lucien Boutte at the time was undefeated, how good he was. Glenn Johnson knocked out Roy Jones. He had legendary fights how good he was, Arthur Abraham, how good he was, Andre Durrell in his prime, how good he was, Jermaine Taylor, how good he was, Gene Pascal in his prime, how good he was. See, you have to go back and do your homework to understand the resume of Carl the Cobra Frotch. So I agree with Carl Frotch. He finished his career 33 and 2, 24 by way of knockout. He lost, like I said, to Mikel Kessler and he lost to Andre Ward. Uh, so um, with that said, Anthony Joshua, like Carl Frotch has stated, Carl Frotch said, how could I uh, uh, not be on the top 10 list? I held all four major sanction bodies. I have a better resume and I've never been knocked out in my career. He says Andy Ruiz, who was not in the top 10 at the time, knocked out, dropped Anthony Joshua four times and stopped him. He says, uh, you know, now people took it out of content and they said that Carl Frotch said he lost to a little fat uh, Mexican uh, but Carl Frost said that he never said that. He just said that he lost to Andy Ruiz and Andy Ruiz wasn't on too many people radar at the time Anthony Joshua got stopped by him. So he's saying your career is still going ongoing and still being written out. It's still playing out. And yet your top cracked the top 10 and I'm not even in the top 10 and I'm a Hall of Famer. Undoubtedly, I held all four major sanction bodies. You have a loss on your resume by way of knockout. Right. And the people that he lost to. Andre Ward and Mikel Kessler were, was, were perceived far better at the time. Well, Andre Ward act, is, a, is an all-time great and retired undefeated, so he doesn't even count. It's like uh, Floyd Mayweather. When you lose to Floyd Mayweather, it doesn't even count on your resume, right? It's just, it gets overlooked. It's expected that you lost. So he lost to Andre Ward, and then you look at 
uh, there's no doubt Andre Ward was definitely a uh, much greater opponent than Andy Ruiz Jr. And then Mikel Kessler at the time, Carl Frotch lost to Mikel Kessler. He was perceived as w one of the best, if not the best in the division. Andrew Ruiz was not in the top 10 and had already lost to Joseph Parker, in which I thought he won that fight. I thought Andrew Ruiz beat Joseph Parker, but it was in Joseph Parker's backyard and Joseph Parker got the nod. Nonetheless, uh, not too many people gave Andrew Ruiz a chance to beat Anthony Joshua. He was a, a 20 to one underdog in that fight. So he was a huge underdog. That's why Andrew Ruiz beating Anthony Joshua is looked at as one of the greatest upsets in the history of the sport of boxing. So Carl Frotch is saying, if you compare the, the opponents that I lost to and never got knocked out to compared to Andy Ruiz, it's not even close. And your story is still being written. Mine's is already done. And I'm no undoubtedly a hall of famer who held all four major sanction bodies. So I should be in the top 10 in the British heavyweight uh, and the British boxing all time uh, top 10. And so he said that, uh, you know, he has a close relationship with Anthony Joshua. He's not trying to, um, you know, come off as he don't respect Anthony Joshua, his boxing career and his boxing skills. He's just saying that the, I'm a, I have a, I should be in the top 10 or further. I should maybe be in the top five is what Carl Frotch is saying of all time British fighters. And I agree with Carl Frotch, right? I don't know if he should be in the top five, but he definitely should be in the top 10, especially if you have Anthony Joshua on that list. So, you know, um, Paul Frotch is not happy about it. And he said that Anthony Joshua privately messaged him four times, but deleted the message. He says, so, you know, he's, uh, um, he's expecting Anthony Joshua to say some not so nice things. And, uh, he said, but he told Anthony Joshua, listen, don't delete the messages. He says, it's like he wrote them and he realized it wasn't too nice and he didn't come off too well. And he deleted it. He said, don't delete it. He said, just go ahead and call me or text me and let's have a conversation. I'm not hating on your career. I'm just saying that I should definitely be in the top 10. I think at when it's all said and done that Anthony Joshua definitely would be in the top 10 all time British boxers. But right now he shouldn't be in the top 10 over myself. And I agree with Carl Frotch. So let's see how this plays out. Is Anthony Joshua going to uh, reach out to Carl Frotch and respond to him? Let's see how this plays out. But uh, that's all I got for y'all. Y'all already know what it is. It's your boy, Blue, Blue Blood Sports TV. Hate, like, comment, and subscribe. If you haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, hit the bell icon to get all the new notifications. Follow me on Instagram at Blue Blood Sports TV, all one word. Y'all already know what it is. Shout out to the entire LDBC. Shout out to New Media. Shout out to Black Media Row. Make sure you like and share these videos. That's all I got for y'all. Peace. Hey, this is Jasmine. Thank you for watching Blue Blood Sports TV. Hola, soy Jasmine. Gracias por ver Sangre Azul Deportes TV. Gracias.